Many duties at the funeral home require funeral staff to lift coffins, office equipment and storage boxes. Some of these items are not light and therefore it's important to educate yourself on the safe manual handling techniques. We would now like to show you several items that you may have to lift in the workplace. Lifting a box. When lifting a box or a heavy item, it's important to use proper lifting techniques. Keep the load in close to your body. If your clothes may get dirty, put on a coat or wear old clothes to avoid the temptation to lift away from your body. Lift smoothly, avoid sudden jerks. Spread your feet apart to provide a good stable base of support. Use a semi-squat lifting posture. This new approach has replaced the previous recommended method of crouching down and keeping your back straight. The idea is to half bend your knees and half bend your back to get down to the load. Spread your feet apart to provide a good stable base of support. Do not twist when lifting. Keep your head up. Sitting correctly at a chair in the office. Everybody sits at some point in an office, so why not learn how to sit correctly? Here's how you should sit at all times. Position the monitor and keyboard directly in front of you. Adjust the height of your chair so that your forearms and wrists slope slightly towards your keyboard. If your feet are not firmly on the floor, use a footrest. Set your monitor at approximately one arm's length from you. Ensure that the top of your monitor is just below eye level. Position your keyboard so that your elbows hang freely at your side. Your hands should be as close as possible to your body. Angle your monitor to reduce glare and contrast. Vary your sitting position throughout the day to suit the task. Do not use floor mats. Ensure your office chair is ergo safe. For screen work, you may use the classic position where everything is at right angles. Neck, thighs, elbows and legs are at right angles to the floor. The chair must be adjusted to support your spine in the natural S-curve. For reading and writing, it's best for your back if the seat of your chair is tilted forward to follow your movement so that there is no pressure on the thighs and arteries under them. When arranging at a family home or out of the office, ask to sit at the dining table so you can practice good posture. Avoid lounge suites or low seating as you'll crouch when writing.